A jump in cases of a rare polio-like illness has parents on edge. It's called acute myelitis, or AFM. The Centers for Disease Control and Prevention has confirmed 62 cases of AFM. It is still investigating another 65 possible cases. Three are here in Georgia. The Fox Medical Team's Beth Galvin is here to talk about this. And Beth, why are, is the CDC saying, what are they saying about this particular syndrome now? Good morning, Sharon. They're saying they are concerned about okay. acute flaccid myelitis, and that's because it can be serious uh, and it can come on rather quickly. Uh, it's extremely rare, affects about one in a million Americans. Um, and, you know, so we talked to a doctor about how concerned parents should really be. It's a trend that frightens many parents. Dozens of healthy children are ending up in the emergency department unable to move their arms and legs. And the average age of those affected by acute flaccid myelitis, or AFM, is four. So we asked WebMD medical editor, pediatrician, and mother of two, Dr. Hansa Bargava, just how concerned she is. And she says, as a doctor and a mom, I am worried. Uh, I think it is worrisome to see kids come down with a polio-like illness, and it's not polio, it's a polio-like illness. AFM isn't new. The CDC first saw a surge in cases in 2014, then another peak two years later in 2016, and now we're experiencing a similar surge in 2018. It's a neurologic illness that affects the spinal cord, causing sudden onset limb weakness, and sometimes facial drooping and problems with eye movement, swallowing, and speaking. Some of the children with AFM recover but others remain paralyzed. I think it is worrisome, especially when we're not clear about what's causing it. Some experts believe that AFM is triggered by a summer virus because of the timing of the outbreaks. And the CDC says the cause could be a virus or an environmental toxin or something else. What I will say though, is that the good news that parents can take away at least right now is that it's very rare. So for every case there is, there's a, almost a million kids who don't have it. So until we know more, Dr. Bargava says it makes sense to take some simple precautions. Wash your hands, don't share drinks, don't be around anyone who's sick, and if you're sick, stay home, because we're not sure what's causing it. It could just be a virus that's causing it. And since we don't know what's causing AFM, the CDC has not been able to identify who is at risk of contracting it, and we don't really know the long-term effects. Um, and the CDC says, says it's looking at several possible cases, viruses, autoimmune disorders, toxins that children might have been exposed to in their environment. So Sharon, you know, it's complicated, it's yeah. complex, um, and they're doing a really thorough investigation, but it may take time to get some of these basic answers that parents want. Well, at least you know it is rare, yes. right? Yes. But what are some of the symptoms that parents should actually look out for? So things like sudden weakness or loss of use of, uh, you know, your arms and legs. Also, you may see drooping in the face and eyelids. You may see difficulty moving the eyes or swallowing. A child may have a difficult time speaking, maybe slurring. All of those can be signs. All of those are signs you should bring the child to the emergency room. Okay, and has anyone ever died from this? So there have been 386 cases over the last four years. The CDC says they have had one death that was in 2017, which was not a peak year. Okay, well, Beth, thank you so much for that. Thanks, Sharon.